50. Away from McKinnon. There's the equaliser. Yet another product of Celtic's phenomenally successful youth policy. From the very beginning, Paul showed the poise and vision to achieve greatness in football. That was shown to great effect in his Premier League debut in 1982. Next day. Oh, yes! Sheer brilliance from young Paul McStay. And young Paul McStay celebrates his Premier League debut with a goal to remember. After humbling Aberdeen, Paul's first old firm game was to prove just as remarkable. The Rangers defence had an inning. Here's a great chance for Martin McLeod. McStay following up. Paul McStay in his first old firm match makes it one apiece. Day so determined. Perfect chance for McGarvey. His skill at such an early age quickly made him a favourite with the supporters and management, earning him a regular place in the team. McLeod now to McStay. That's Burns, McStay again. Absolutely magnificent. Total dream player. McStay at his best. Phenomenal football. Everything he wanted in a footballer, he had it. And the one thing I would say maybe lacked was a wee bit of pace, but he made up for that with the sharpness of his brain and could go and just run a football match the way he wanted to do it. Uh, phenomenal player. Fans. Celtic edging forward very slowly. They have five men in the penalty area. McStay, brilliant goal. Paul won his first championship medal in the remarkable 5-0 league-winning match against St Mirren in 1986. As always, he was keen to make his contribution. This way to the byline, here's Martin McLeod, now McStay. 4-0 to Celtic. By the centenary year, Paul was a mature member of the squad and played in every league game. His presence was immense, not only providing goals, but also scoring himself. Went beyond everybody in turn. Paul's vision in midfield allowed him to command the game, opening it up to create goal-scoring chances for his teammates. It was vital to defeat Rangers if the title was to be won. The crucial match was considered by many to be the tie at Ibrox in March. If Celtic won, there would be no way back for the Ibrox side. Good play though by Tommy Barnes for Celtic. Here's Paul McStay. It's a great effort from McStay, brilliantly saved by Chris Woods. Just at a point where we thought that Paul McStay had a quiet spell in the match, he burst to life. Now just look at the power in the shot. As the pass comes forward from Tommy Barnes, McStay with one thought in mind. There's Paul McStay. Paul McStay with the opening goal. 21 minutes into the second half. The Celtic end goes wild. A superb strike by Paul McStay. It's only his fourth of the season. But it was McStay who won that ball on the right initially, looked over the cross. Anton Rogan nodded it down. There was Billy Starks and appeals for handball. But the ball was then scrambled out from the head of Graham Roberts. Then nodded down again by Morris. There was McStay and Woods was helpless. In 1990, Paul became the third McStay to hold the club captaincy. And they with him all the way. Finds the team up for Fulton. Here's a chance for Paul McStay! Oh, a marvellous strike by the Celtic captain. However, the club was not keeping pace financially with the Rangers' challenge, resulting in experienced players leaving Celtic. In May 1992, Paul caused great speculation when he threw his jersey into the jungle, seemingly saying farewell to the fans. He later stated that he was simply reviewing his options 
but no one in the stadium that day wanted such a faithful player to leave. Paul returned the next season and never regretted his decision to stay. Boyd, McStay. Oh, that was goal by Paul McStay! Back with Paul McStay. And Celtic have made it at last. The captain strikes. Good play again. Brent checks inside McCall. On for McStay. The reward for Paul's loyalty to the club came in 1995, when at last he got his hands on the silverware that he and the supporters had desired for so long. Paul McStay's been waiting for the presentation of the Tenants Scottish Cup to Paul McStay. Paul McStay has been one of the greatest servants of Celtic Football Club. His style of play often brought the fans to their feet, and his passion for his club was boundless. In over 600 games for the club, he invariably gave his all.